Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. As you can see guys practically, this is floor beam designed for 4 story commercial building. From 4 to 5 story commercial building. Depth of this floor beam is 16 inches, width is 12 inches. As you can see it's steel reinforcement details. As you can see, we have 4 steel rods at the bottom, 3 at the top. As you can see clearly, dia is 16 mm for each steel rod. Here I will guide you for crank bar, how to provide crank bar or bent up bar to the distance of L by 4. Why we provide crank bar? As you can see guys, we have 4 steel rods at the bottom, so 2 middle steel bars should be bent to the upward side to resist negative bending moment. So therefore we provide bent up bar or crank bar. The crank bar angle should be between 45 to 60 degree. Now guys you can see we have 4 steel rods at the top and 2 at the bottom when we when we have the uh, section at L by 4 distance. As you can see here guys we have 4 steel rods at the bottom 3 at the top. Guys you can see clearly 4 steel rods at the bottom sorry 5 steel rods at the bottom 2 are bent to the upward side so on the top of in that case we have 5 at the top as you can see here dia is 16 millimeter you can see guys now we have 5 steel rods at the distance of l by 4 when we crank to the upward side to resist negative bending moment as you can see clearly 3 steel rods at the bottom uh, 5 steel rods at the bottom 3 at the top 2 extra steel rods we provided at the bottom to make crank bar for negative bending moment guys you can see clearly to the distance of l by 4 guys if you see where we provided crank bar so spacing of stirrups you can see which is closely according to steel structural drawing which is about 4 to 5 inches dia is 8 millimeter for ring or stirrup only one problem guys you can see which is for hooks hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is one of the big mistakes so therefore it should be provided on 135 degree and hook length should not be less than 3 inches as you can see so after L by 4 the spacing is 6 to 7 inches but to the distance of L by 4 or where we have negative bending moment or bent up bar there the spacing you can see from 4 to 5 inches as you can see guys this is crank bar which are fixed here in this floor beam width is 12 inches depth is 16 inches designed for 4 to 5 story you can see guys most of the students they are asking sir how to provide crank bar so this is the procedure to construct crank bar and floor beam when they fixed the floor beam steel reinforcement then they placed this uh, mesh this beam inside this shuttering guys you can see the shuttering is under this below this beam as you can see they provided the plastic on the top of this to give you good result guys you can see the labor is working they are providing steel rods inside the beam especially they are fixing the stirrups which spacing is 4 to 5 inches column you can see size is 18 by 18 inches Guys, you can see clearly. Here, they provided extra steel rods. So, extra steel rods should be also provided to the distance of L by 4. To resist negative bending moment, guys, you can see we don't have the crank bar. So, it's up to you. So, crank bar is economical compared to bent up bar. But most of the construction I saw, nowadays, we are providing extra steel rods. To the distance of L by 4 as we provide crank bar or bent up bar. Guys, you can see this is crank bar. You can see, guys. 
Remember one thing, if you need to provide the lapping length, because we don't have the lapping here, we're lapping. So the lapping should be provided in top beam or in floor beam or in plant beam. A top portion, we should provide at the middle. But at the bottom portion, it should be provided after L by 4, means to the distance of L by 5, where L is the span between two columns. So that is the correct way to provide lapping length. Guys, you can see clearly. This is called bent up bar or crank bar. How to provide? Now, guys, you can see three steel rods at the bottom, three at the top. Why they did? Why they changed the design here? Because the beam, column, everything is depend on the structure load. According to the structure load, we can provide the steel reinforcement for that design. As you can see, guys, this is the junction between beam and column. Guys, you can see here you can see the hooks problem which are bent up with 90 degree but the proper design is 135 degree guys you can see hope this video can help you so this is the practical video to guide you how to provide crank bar or bent up bar to the distance of l by 4 and i guided you for uh, depth uh, size of the beam its stirrups its steel reinforcement details especially for hooks how to provide bent up bar etc thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye